welcome to a new video. I am Rachel and I have been doing these monthly check-in videos where I go over all of my favorite crystals that I utilize the most and appreciated the most over the past month. And I'm sorry this video is getting up a little bit late. This is actually my December favorites video. The first crystal that I'm going to talk about is Green Rutilated Quartz. And I have had this pendant for a while. I've worn it a few times. Oh, it's so pretty. So it has all this green rutile in it. And he, okay, okay, whole story, this is what happened. I was working at a crystal shop and this girl came in and she said, what is this crystal good for? And I Googled it for her and I was reading it to her and I'm like, I need this. I need this right now. So we both bought one and I, like I said, I wore it a couple of times. I enjoyed it and that was that. So he spent months living on my desk. I have this little stand that has an, an agate slice in it. And then he, I just had him hanging from that. So he was just hanging there. You could probably see him in most of my previous videos where I'm at my desk. My desk is behind me. He's just hanging there. Well, one day last month, I'm sitting at my desk and I'm not moving around or anything. I think I'm just like watching a video and all of a sudden out of the corner of my eye, he's winking at me. He started moving himself, winking at me. Does that ever happen to you? I, that happens to me all the time. When a crystal, you're just like walking by it or something and it just glints at you like, look at me, it's trying to get your attention. So he did that and I'm like, okay, clearly I need to wear you today. So I put him on a chain, I wore him to work, and I am not going to be able to express to you what this did for me, but I had such a life-altering, energetic, synchronistic day that I started looking at this crystal in an entirely new light. And I mean, the things that you read about alone are really cool. I mean, like I said, it only took me telling someone else what Google said about this crystal for me to buy one. So let me first read to you some of the things that like pop up whenever you're first starting to look into this crystal and what it is that actually like led me to it to begin with. I'm pretty sure this is the little excerpt that I read that day to the girl that made us both buy one immediately. Green rutilated quartz is a gemstone that strongly protects your mind. It has meaning and properties to fill your mind with strong energy and to protect you from negative energy. It is good for people who have a sensitive heart or easily get stressed out. When your heart is already hurt, this gemstone would gently heal it. Green related quartz can neutralize negative energy and bring it back to a clean condition. So basically it's like calming and protective and like soothing, but then this is more of the stuff that I've been reading about it lately. So it is supposed to be good to use when you need to make a choice or want to find your real feelings about something. It helps you figure out which way is best. It says to use it to build your ideal future. It's very difficult to understand your mind accurately. You might have to hide your true feelings to live in this society. If you repeat that, your true feelings can be hurt and lose self-confidence. Green related quartz is a gemstone that can clear this kind of problem. Use it when you want to release your energy. It's supposed to help you realize your true talents and possibilities. It helps lead you to success by help you to recognize yourself accurately. I don't know why all this stuff is like so heavy to me. Reading this to you feels very, I'm just very deeply, deeply affected by this stone. It's almost like crazy how like deeply I feel this. It's it's different than anything I've ever felt with a crystal. Like I I love crystals. I've been drawn to crystals. I've been obsessed with crystals. There's crystals that I want all over me all the time. I've never felt anything this like deep down 
deep, deep understanding, deep. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, it's affecting me in the deepest way I can possibly imagine a crystal affecting me. And that's saying a lot because I say that crystals have changed my life all the time. This is different. I haven't quite figured it all out yet. Okay. Um, it helps lead you to success by recognizing yourself accurately. Like how deep do I feel that? <sighs> this gemstone is useful when you feel like you are not using your skills well or you're being carried away by time. It can lead you to the right fate. It is recommended for people who want to know the truth and the purpose of their souls. I think that is why I feel it so deeply because deep, deep, deep down, that's my greatest affliction. Moving on, when I do these monthly things, I have stones that I'm drawn to all the time, as in stones that I carry around at night, like the same stones I'll pick up and carry around all the time, but also stones that I'm just like wearing constantly, wearing to work. And in that line of thought, I wear bracelets, I'll wear necklaces, but I almost always have a couple of crystals in my pocket. So this month I did, I did have new might in my pocket, quite often. It's not on the list, but it was in my pocket a lot. And then in my other pocket, I was doing the combo that I love of Kunzite. Kunzite and Moldavite. And this, these are the pieces that I was carrying around in my pocket. And this is a lovely, lovely energy pairing. Um, I do talk about it in my Moldavite energy pairings videos. I think it's in the fifth one. I'm losing track, there's so many of them. But this is an excellent pairing. The Moldavite and the Kunzite are very, very happy and lighthearted and magical together. I highly recommend trying these out. So those were like my favorite pocket crystals this month. And then as far as bracelets, I made this bracelet. And it's my new favorite. It is mostly shungite. I've been led to wear more shungite. And I decided to put a jade bead on here and a lapidolite bead because those are two crystals that I want on me a lot. And I used to wear like an all jade bracelet and an all lapidolite bracelet. And I would wear bracelets all up my arms every day. And I just don't do that as much anymore. So I've been um, really into the combining aspect and I just love this and I love that um, usually there's just like one green one to the side and it's a little bit different and you know I love things that are a little bit different so that has been my my favorite bracelet this month but I've also I don't really take this sort of cross light off still and then I've also been wearing an angelite bracelet on both wrists and that's been a recent favorite also and i have been wearing that green rutile pendant a lot but also i have another pendant this was more like um the beginning of the month i wore this all the beginning of december this is a little vial pendant that contains four different crystals and it contains I've had this pendant forever and I actually kept the card that it came on because I knew that I was going to want all of the information on it. So this pendant is called Initiation, first of all. Let me put it on. Not that you can really see it that well. So the pendant is called Initiation and it is by Heaven and Earth. You can buy their jewelry online. They have really, really cool vial necklaces with different stuff in it. They even have like Moldavite ones. Really cool. So this vial combines phenakite, zestulite, naturalite, and cryolite, four of the most powerful stones for stimulating the upper chakras, awakening spiritual vision, and facilitating inner initiation. This vial is intended to raise one's vibrational frequency to new levels, calling one's spirit guides to assist one in learning to consciously function in the higher domains. I've had this pendant for a while. When I first got it, the first day I started wearing it, every day someone would show up and teach me something without me asking. It was the craziest thing and it went on for like a week when I first started wearing this. Um, I was working at a crystal shop and a cool person would come in and be like, 
did you know such and such about this? And it would be something that I had been like wondering about earlier in the week, or they would just come in and teach me to do something new. And sometimes it was a stranger. And sometimes it was somebody at one point, it was my boss who I worked with every day. And one day he just walked up to me and just like randomly taught me something new and walked away. And it was just so interesting to me. And I recognized it in the moments that this is all happening right after I started wearing this initiation pendant. And I just thought it was really powerful and full of synchronicity. And I've always enjoyed the pendant and it is very high vibrational, which I really enjoy. And I used to actually wear this with a couple of other pendants on each side of it. You can see it in a few of my videos. I think my Moldavite experience video, I'm definitely wearing it in there. And as much as I like it, I just have so much stuff that I like that it ends up where I don't wear everything all the time. You know, you have so much stuff and everything has to take turns, but it's always like a pleasant surprise whenever you revisit and re get to know something that you've had for a while. And it just, I put it on one day at the beginning of the month and I enjoyed it so much that I just kept putting it on and probably the first half of the month I wore this like every day and then I kind of switched over to the green root tile. So one random one that I'm going to talk about, even though it wasn't something that was reoccurring over and over, every once in a while I have one of those experiences where a crystal is just like screaming at me. Like I will just start thinking about a crystal and I absolutely can't stop thinking about it until I find one. And that's what happened with Iolite this month. It was one, just a random day. I don't remember what I was doing, what I was thinking about, what I was trying to get done. It, all I remember is just randomly, I'm like, I need Iolite. I need some Iolite. And I just went crazy tearing through my room, trying to find a piece. I just, I needed it right then, right. And I, my hand closed around it. I, and it was just the one day. I don't know what it was that I needed. So let's see what the main thing about Iolite is. The first thing that caught my eye is that okay this is I am getting the tingles right now you guys. Life is so weird. Like synchronicities are so weird. That's all I'm going to say about that. So the first thing that pops up is the Iolite combines the intuition of the violet ray with the trust of the pure blue ray. It brings wisdom, truth, dignity, spiritual mastery. Um, but the thing that like caught my eye first was that Iolite has been used by shamans to enhance their ability to have clear visions. Some legends say that it strengthens eyesight. It's supposed to promote pure thoughts intuition, self-acceptance. Do you believe that you will be guided in everything that you do to achieve what you need for your highest good? Iolite will make sure that you do. That's a strong statement. It is supposed to unlock visions, unleash creativity. It's an excellent meditation tool that can help calm down emotions and still your mind. It is one of the best stones to have when it comes to spiritual healing and psychic activities. It helps activate your gifts, connect you to guides. It's a vision stone, especially when combined with mother of pearl. Now I want some mother of pearl. It will clear your thought processes and strengthen your intuition. It will help you understand why things happen the way they do and why people are the way that they are. That's a powerful statement too. All of these statements about Iolite are very bold. When you're going through challenging times, the energies of this stone can empower you to find the best solutions. All really great, positive things. It helps you overcome your challenges. It helps you be more discerning, to act on your intuition. It will make you trust your inner self more and listen to what your heart and mind are telling you. So honestly, like I said, I was only drawn to it the once. Now that I am reading this stuff to you, I feel like this is going to be in my pocket all month, this month. <laughs> wow. One more thing to talk about is amber. Now, 
I sometimes take crystals to bed with me and I will just get a random thought like, oh, I want to sleep with this under my pillow tonight. And I must have done that over and over because I went to wash our sheets one day and I don't go a long time without washing our sheets, maybe two weeks at the most. And I found all these pieces of amber. Like, it's like I took a piece of amber to bed and put it under my pillow. And a few nights later, I took a piece of amber and put it under my bed. And the few nights later, I took another piece of amber and put it in my pillowcase. And then a couple nights later, I picked up a piece of amber. So I forgot they were all there. And then when I went to change the sheets, I had all this amber falling out of the bed. Apparently I needed it. And apparently I needed it with me when I was sleeping. I have never done this before. Like I take random stuff to bed all the time. I am always finding rocks in the bed and oftentimes I forget they're there. I've never piled up the same crystal in a small amount of time like that before. So that tells me it was very important for me to have it and that I was really enjoying the energy. Amber is very warm and protective. Those are the first things that like comes to mind when I think of Amber. Um, but let's look up some properties here. Balances emotions, attracts good luck, eliminates fears, relieves a headache, clears the mind, dissolves negative energy, help develop, help develop patience and wisdom. It is attuned to ancient wisdom. It can be a powerful tool for past life recall or for stimulating the remembrance of gen genetic lessons and experiences passed down from one's ancestors. It's useful for clearing family patterns and initiating one's prerogative of choice. It's a natural purifier. It draws pain and disease out of the physical body. Maybe I was getting sick and I didn't know it. Oh, it's good for working through the grieving process. Um, that makes a little bit of sense that we needed that around us. Protective, cleansing, warm, ancient, all that stuff. I don't think I'll ever get over Amber. It's magnificent and glorious colors in here this is actually a piece of black amber those are my favorite crystals for the month of december you guys 2020 is over <sighs> that's all i am already um partially through january and it's crazy how like, I thought these videos would have a lot more overlap, like I carry the same crystals over and over, but it, it's actually weird how it does seem to change every month, and there might be an overlap for like a couple of days or something. It's not like it's like solid, this month only I enjoyed this crystal, nothing like that, but it is, it's very interesting. The more I do them, the more interesting it gets, and I hope you enjoy them. I would love to hear down below if there are certain crystals that you have been carrying around a lot this month or if you're super intrigued by any of the ones I just talked about. I love reading all of your comments all the time. Thank you so much for being here with me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have such a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.